It's 2022. Is there any decent reason to buy an air-cooled pushrod V-twin with 35-year-old technology wrapped in six-year-old style? Let's get into it with the Harley Iron 883. <laughs> Harley Davidson is really trying to reinvent themselves going into different directions with the Rev Max engine, a liquid cooled dual overhead cam engine. Some love it, some hate it. I am actually really excited about the direction the motor company is taking with the Rev Max engine, with the Pan America, with the Sportster S. But in 2022, is there absolutely any reason to buy a Harley Iron 883? Well, the first reason you'd want to buy an Iron 883 is affordability. It's a well made workhorse of a bike under $10 thousand dollars. Well, until 2022 when they raise their prices a little bit. But still with the slightly raised prices because of inflation, that is a great value for the bike that it is. Now, if you've come here expecting me to say that the Iron 883 is a great beginner's bike, I'm not gonna be that guy. Yes, it was my first bike and I learned to ride on it and I had great success learning to ride on it. But I'm gonna say it's not a beginner bike for everybody. There's a lot of factors in deciding a beginner bike. But the next reason is associated with that. If you wanna get on a Harley Davidson, in. It is currently the only model in their lineup that is below 1200 cc's. In my opinion, and your mileage may vary, the Iron 883 is low enough displacement where you won't get into a lot of trouble as a beginner rider, but still has enough power to keep you interested for quite a while. A lot of riders say they're going to upgrade into a bigger bike, one of the soft tail models or a touring model from the Iron 883, or even up to a 1200 Sportster. I really don't like this notion of upgrade. The Iron 883 is just a different type of bike. Jumping from an Iron 883 to a different bike, in my opinion, is not an upgrade. It's just a different experience. It's a different type of riding. It's a different type of bike. And if you want that different experience and be on a Harley Davidson, the only way to get it right now is to get on an 883. Now the next one is style. As I said earlier, the Iron 883 is 35 year old technology wrapped in 60 year old style. In my opinion, and a lot of other riders' opinions, the Iron 883 is one of the most beautiful bikes in Harley's lineup. It has that classic style. In stock form, the Iron 883 has that retro sport bike look that's part of its history. And that style of the Iron 883 really shines because of the fit and finish that I think exceeds a lot of the other bikes in Harley's lineup and other bikes in the 883's class. This kind of falls under they don't make them like they used to category. I also have a 2021 Lowrider S. I love that bike, I love riding it, but it doesn't give me the enthusiasm when I look at it like the Iron 883 does. That may be a controversial statement and I get that that's 100% opinion. And if you've been following this channel for a long time, you know I have a very long and storied history with the Iron 883. So the next one is no secret to those who have owned Iron 883s or sportsers in general, and that is the Iron 883 is a modder's dream. Want a retro sport bike? Buy an Iron 883. Want to build it into a touring beast like I did? That's possible with an Iron 883. Want a sports or scrambler? Yep, that's entirely possible too, although some say it's not the best platform. It is possible, and the possibilities for modding an Iron 883 or any other Sportster is endless. The aftermarket has been developed for the Evolution Sportster for 35 years and the Sportster in general for 60 years. It is an absolute modder's dream bike. Related to modding, specifically Evolution Sportsters, is the Evolution Sporty is a great platform to wrench on. It's a tried and true platform and they've worked out the kinks since 1986 when they first used the Evolution engine. If you're inexperienced in wrenching on motorcycles and you really want to get into it, the Evolution engine and Evolution Sporties are a great platform to do so. And finally, one of the best reasons to buy an Iron 883 in 2022 is they're going to stop making them soon. They've already discontinued the Sportster in Europe. 2022 very well may be the last year of the Sportster. Harley is very focused on their soft tail lineups, their touring lineup, and obviously the new Revolution Max engine. The writing is on the wall for the Sportster. If you want a brand new Sportster in 2022, this may be the last year you can possibly do so. With that said, there are gonna be a ton of Sportsters in the used market and you should take advantage of that. But because they're discontinuing the Sportster, the markup on those used Sportsters is gonna go up. It might be a good idea for you to get a Sportster now before they discontinue it. Those are the reasons to buy a Harley Iron 883 in 2022. Do you have any other reasons? Go ahead and leave some comments down below. And if you've enjoyed this video, you might enjoy this one over here as well.